Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Before we put our vehicle in the air, we're going to remove this hubcap with these plastic covers that are over the actual lug bolts. This one here is broken. Let's see if I can get this out. Yeah, it's pretty loose, comes right out. Other ones are 22 millimeter. If they're loose enough, you can do it by hand with the socket. If you need extra leverage, you can use a short ratchet. These ones are coming off pretty easy. These stay with the hubcap. You know, use a large breaker bar and a 22 millimeter deep socket. Break all these free. Now that I have all these lug nuts loose, I'm gonna raise and support our vehicle. This is a heavy truck. I'm gonna make sure you use heavy duty jacks and a jack stand and support it safely. We're gonna use our two post lift. Because our truck is extra long, we're gonna use this floor stand jack and just support the back of it right under the trailer hitch. We don't actually have to lift up on the truck, just bring this up until it touches the bottom. Just right there is perfect. With the vehicle in the air, I'll remove the rest of the lug nuts. They should be loose enough to just use the socket. I'm gonna take one of the lug nuts, just put it on here. This might be seized on here. Nope. Came loose pretty easily, but I put the lug nut on here so it didn't fall on me. Now I can take this off, take the whole wheel and tire off. So we want to compress the pistons and the caliper before we try to remove this so we can actually slide it apart. I'm going to take a flat bladed screwdriver, kind of wedge it in here, just gently pull against this. And if we want to move the whole knuckle, we can do that, give you better access to these bolts. Just going to compress that a bit. It's nice and loose. It'll be easy to take it off now. We'll start with the caliper slide pin bolts. There's one on the top, one on the bottom. They are 18 millimeter. I'm going to use a large ratchet and loosen these. Do the top one. I'm going to switch to a smaller ratchet and socket so I can get this out easier. Pull it right out, put that aside. I'm also going to hold onto the caliper so it doesn't fall off. Pull that right out. We're going to take our caliper, slide it right off, and you can actually, it will sit right here in the upper control arm just like that. Be careful you don't twist your rubber brake hose too much. We take our old brake pads out. These ones are actually in really good shape, but we're going to show you how to replace these anyways. The caliper bracket bolts, there's one on the top, one on the bottom. They're 21 millimeter. We're going to loosen and remove those. Need a little more leverage, so I'm going to use a breaker bar. There it goes. Switch to a small ratchet so I can re remove these quickly. I'm going to put the caliper bracket aside. This rotor is nice and loose. It's going to come right off. If it wasn't, you needed to push it off. You could thread some bolts in here of the appropriate size and turn them evenly, and you'd push the rotor off of the hub. But this one's going to come off nice and easy for us. Here's our original brake rotor and pads from our vehicle. Here's our brand new stuff from 1AAuto.com. As you can see, it's an exact match to the original. Same style pads, they've got backing to them. So these will fit great and work great in our vehicle. I'm gonna put our rotor on backwards first. Take the brake parts cleaner, clean this surface of the oil that they're shipped on so they don't flash rust. Let's just wipe them down. Flip it over.
going to take one of the lug nuts and just thread it down so the rotor's not moving around on me while I'm trying to install the brake caliper and bracket. Also clean this surface of the packaging oil. Need to compress the pistons back into the caliper. I've got my C-clamp ready. I'm going to take one of the old brake pads, roll this over. One of the old brake pads in here and just gently squeeze it together, press the pistons. Depending on how far out these pistons were, some brake fluid might come out of the reservoir. Take our brake pad away. We're going to clean and reuse our hardware. They're just stainless. We can spray them with some brake parts cleaner and brush them off with a brush. Do the same for the other side. I'm going to clean and inspect our caliper slide pins. Just take a rag, wipe them down. Take a little bit of brake parts cleaner on the rag. To clean off some of the stuff that's stuck on there. I'll take some caliper slide grease and just apply it to these. Install our caliper bracket. Hold it in place. Get one, get one of the bolts caught. Doesn't matter which one you do first, top or bottom, but thread it in by hand so it goes in nice and easy, not cross threaded. Just like that. The top one. I'm going to tighten these down. Just gotta get them so they're tight. And now I'll come back and torque them. I'm going to torque these to 120 foot pounds. Take some brake parts cleaner and just spray down the surface. Take some caliper guide grease and just put it in the little ears. This is the outside one. Doesn't matter which one you start on. Put it on one of the one side of the hardware and I have to maneuver it in there. Repeat this process for the other pad. Install the inside one in the same way. Our caliper back on. In position. Make sure you get the boots under the openings here. I'm going to hold it. Get this top slide, slide bolt in position. I have to pick it up. Slide it in. Thread it in by hand. Do the same for the other one. I'm going to use a small ratchet to snug these up. I'm going to torque these to 90 foot pounds. Turn our wheel straight. Take our lug nut off. Reinstall the wheel. Thread all the lug nuts on by hand before lowering your vehicle back down on the ground. Snug up the lug nuts and then torque them on the ground with the vehicle's weight on them. Torque the lug nuts to 120 foot pounds in a cross pattern. Reinstall the cap, place those over the lug nuts. Can I get them threaded in? That one's broken. You can use the 22 millimeter deep socket to tighten them. You don't have to kill these, they're just plastic. After you finish the brakes, be sure to gently pump the pedal to bring the piston out to meet the rotor. Just pump until the pedal gets hard. That feels good. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.